Today I'm going to talk about some books that I own that I consider to be like super useful core sewing books. There are modern versions of these that have come out recently, I'm sure. Not necessarily these exact same like Reader's Digest and Vogue, but more modern sewing books that people have put out. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's kind of in these older ones that are not always in some of the newer books. And so I highly recommend trying to hunt some of these down, either a thrift store, online, secondhand, whatever, um, because they are a useful, usually not very expensive, and they are a useful tool to have. They go into, I mean, A, look at how big this book is, right? Like, it goes into a huge amount of depth, into a number of issues, um, how to fit things, how to alter patterns, different techniques, like, you know, it covers so much information. It is very dated, but that's okay, because sewing has only changed so much. And by so much, I mean not a lot. <laughs> and then this Reader's Digest one is another good one. I like this one because it has better, um, this one has more pictures than the Vogue one. Like the Vogue one has a lot of information, but I feel like I mean, it still has a lot of pictures, but it's got a lot more words. I feel like the pictures are a little clearer in this Reader's Digest one. Um, I'm trying to remember, I think, I know the Vogue one was given to me by an uncle. I think the Reader's Digest one, I don't remember if I, if I ended up picking this up. One of my, um, I think, on a, I think someone I worked with had a copy of it and I liked it so much that I literally hunted one down. Um, because it is just that useful and it goes into all sorts of things with tailoring um tips tricks ways to do things like i highly recommend these like for a basic sewing book now for specialty books two specific ones that i just want to touch on that i think people should have if you're going to do sewing is this tailoring one and uh this complete guide to needlework now this tailoring one was actually this was actually a textbook for one of my classes that we had to pick up um we, it was a tailoring class it talks about a lot of the basics of tailoring it's very falling apart too i probably should see about getting it bound um, <laughs> yeah just maybe you know um it is a very simple book it is not completely in depth but it does talk about different ways that you can tailor it it talks about doing things custom. It talks about doing things where you replace some of it by machine, some of it using fusible, um, you know, some of it using underlining. It, it talks about different techniques. So when you're watching someone hand make a, a period garment and using large amounts of hand stitching, guess what? There's other ways to do it where you don't have to spend that much time. Uh, there are other options if that is not your thing. Of how you can tailor something and still make it beautiful um but you know make it a little easier and that's kind of what i like about this um these these two do a lot of patterns they have some like perfect fit patterns on uh for one of the sewing companies i think right now um but this was a really helpful book for my basic tailoring class that i took and will is a great reference to have in my large large sewing library okay and then this one this is literally the most comprehensive handwork needle book that i think i've seen and i own several others like let's just tilt this up over there on that shelf back there that's a whole bunch more books um and a lot of those are very specific but they are not as specific <laughs> uh or not as as wide reaching as this like they're more just a particular type and i have another one over there that is supposed to be like a complete guide to hand stitching and it still does not have half of what's in here um and again i really love this because it has i mean look at this look at how many different things it has like we got embroidery we got needlepoint we got applique we got patchwork we got quilting we got knitting um crochet lace work macrame rug making and then all stuff down broke broken down underneath that um it really goes into detail on your supplies it really goes into detail on designing these things all of the different stitches 
Um, like I said, I, there's stuff that I've found information on in here that I haven't found in other books. Um, it go, you know, and, and each of those, each of those like big ones, it breaks down into smaller sections, you know, um, there's all sorts of like under embroidery. There's all sorts of different, you've got like all of these different types of embroidery. Um, it's got just some really awesome information in it. Very easy to follow knitting instructions. Um, again, I think, I think this one my uncle might have sent me or gave, given me. He used to find random things in, in the uh, thrift stores that were sewing related and give them to me. So, um, yeah, it's just like a super cool book. Uh, it's got all like sort of macrame stuff and just lace making, bobbin lace making, net making, um, tatting which is something that I kind of want to learn right now. Uh, yeah, so it really is kind of a super cool book. I highly recommend, you know, don't just, don't just go to your Barnes & Noble and look for, you know, brand new books. Um, I mean, there are some really good ones out there, but there are also some really awesome things that were put out, you know, dozens of years ago. And I guarantee you can find most of these floating around your Goodwill or a thrift store uh, near you for quite a reasonable price.